Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. What do you think of Banjo? I don't know what I'm thinking. What, what, what's the plan today? You tell you tell the folks at home what are we doing. Banjo's got big business plans. You gotta fix it. He wants birds or something, right? Something. You want birds know. that don't die? Something that raccoons can't get into. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. I want a fat peacock. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, but you want pigeons. Pheasants. Oh, okay. Oh God. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, big rip. Oh, who's got the? Chi oh, the dogs are killing the chicken again. Come on, chicken! Come on, chicken! Run, 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 run! Lucy, no! Lucy, no! Lucy, no! No, no, Lucy! No, you gotta leave it! Oh, banjo! Out of kid! Lucy, throw him in! Throw him in! Throw him in! Throw him in! Okay, Woo. we're good. We almost had it. Oh, Millie, leave the other chicken. We just about had a casualty. I don't know why they, these chickens just keep getting out. Anyway, so we're thinking the plan today. Well, we gotta feed these animals, but after that, we want to fix this thing. So this is our OG predator proof enclosure okay and it was for for like six months it worked great and then all of a sudden we got these mutated hybrid mixed with sasquatch to raccoon raccoons came out and absolutely destroyed it they were they just did you know they could chew through chicken wire because I, I didn't I, I i thought chicken wire was to defend a chicken and no no they ripped right through i mean there's gaping holes everywhere we lost 40 quail we lost all of our ducks everything so this enclosure is actually pretty big so we want to lose it oh god lose, lose, hey. no we're good are what we are gonna make it more like this like that wire is that like i a think plan? no i think more like like jimothy's oh. wire like but like wrappable they i think okay. they they sell some stuff like yeah, that so i mean you'll see how big this thing is now there are definitely some things improvements we could make to this like for one i know these doors don't really work that great but i mean they're huge and we got to fix this which i've got a post we can we just stick wedge a post up there but it's huge i mean you well i think we should take this divider out too unless do you see a purpose Unless we want to do like pheasants and one, and quail and we one. could always leave it, and then if we decide we should take it out, because that's kind of a we, I mean, that's all hand stapled in with yeah. with a hammer, you know, which is going to be think kind we of. We could leave it for right now. It, it's it's pretty, pretty big. It's big. I, what, what were these beams? Those got to be like what ten footers at least or twelve? Oh, what what, what was the whole? I think, I think it was sixteen. Were they sixteen? They were big. Yeah. So I mean, this thing's probably. 16 I bet it's 16 by 12 I bet is what this thing is so we've we do have some center supports here so we can kind of reduce the sagginess of it no, we don't need don't we don't saggy. need none of that it's like yeah I mean maybe maybe we'll just leave it divided for now we're not sure what to put in here we need your guys' help in the comments we're thinking maybe pigeon maybe pheasants maybe peacocks if we get peacocks I feel like take out the middle divider oh, and let them because yeah. I mean but, or, but I mean could get along with everything else that's, that's the yeah that's what I don't know because if they do you could just open the whole thing up yeah but I, we're not sure again you will need your guys help in the comments today our plan is to just rewrap it and make it completely predator proof and and obviously get some stuff on the top to make sure that no predators can get in and whatnot but we got to feed these guys these guys are they're, they're they're freaking out right now aren't you ralph ravi come here ralph you guys want some grain hey. all right well let's go ahead and feed these guys some grain <laughs> ravi what you doing big boy He's helping himself. you want a peacock or what oh no hey you got you eat out of the bin buddy you're a grown you're a grown camel you can you can eat out of the bin like that what up little ass you want some grain buddy there you go there you go. Where's Banjo? Banjo's got the scoop. The geese got it. Oh, really? Oh, hey, Mama. What do you think Greg's up to? Oh, oh see, they don't like Greg. I told you. Wait, really? Yeah. Greg, I'll give you a scoop, Greg. There you go, Greg. Watch him. Watch him. Look. Greg. He tried biting him. Greg, don't let him bully you, Greg. Oh, poor Greg. Why, why don't they like Greg? Greg was my favorite. That's the only one we named was Greg. Maybe we gotta get rid of all of them but, but Greg. I think we, you know, an idea. What if, the guess let me know what you think. Once the ice melts on the pond, just take the geese and let them live out. They don't protect none of these chickens. These chickens just keep dying. What if we just took them out to the pond and they just live there? I feel like that might, might, might not be a bad idea. Here you go, Greg. No, stay away from Greg. There you go, Greg. Look at Greg. They don't like him anymore. They shunned him. They kicked him out of the squad, the goose squad. Not a thing anymore. So it's Greg versus the other guys. Kind of makes me want to just keep Greg and kick the rest of them out for for them being bullies, you know what I'm saying? They, they're always talking smack. How's Jimothy doing? Jimothy, what up, buddy? How's it going? You need some of that grain? I just gave you some uh, new hay yesterday, so you should be good on that. Gave him some Fruit Loops. You want some loops? Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Tropical Carnival Forge Street. How are them, buddy? Hey, he's munching. Oh, slow down, guy. All right. He, yeah, he took two he, Yeah, he double dipped on that one. There you go, Jimothy. Jimothy's big chilling right now. We, we're thinking about getting Jimothy a friend too, but we haven't we haven't been able to find the giant Flemishes for a few weeks. We're thinking two females I think will get along, but again, let us know what you think. I think a male and a female get along, but you have to separate them once she has her kids, because I guess like the male gets pissed. Lucy, 
We should check on the chickens. I don't think they know how to be a chicken. They, yeah, they, they, they drank the water. They drank the water at least. See, these chickens, I don't think they know how to get up the slide and down the slide. It, Lucy, no. Do you think if you put half up and half down, they would talk to each other and then figure it out, or how do you, how else do you get them to figure it out? I always we've never them seen them. In, we've never figured. seen them in the box. What's, no. My question: What's the purpose of the the little flap? Yeah, just to keep them warm. I mean, uh, you could cut that out, I guess. That's what I was. They don't afraid. like the flaps. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know how to. How do you how do you train a chicken? I, I, I think you I, just shove them through. That's what I did. I, I I put them in there for a day. They didn't come out. I shoved them down, and then they never went back up. I, I mean, say we named one of them today. You want to name one? Yeah. Which one? Which one? The white one. What are you naming? What are you naming that guy? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan the white chicken. chicken. I feel like we gotta train these things. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> You're gonna make it. <laughs> okay. So the black and the brown one are up top. So now, if the white one makes it up top, or if the black one makes it down, or the brown one, or the flip flop, go figure it out with your friend. We're big chilling. I think they'll they'll figure it out. They just gotta talk to each other. But they haven't laid any eggs. Like well, one of them just went in the nesting box, though. They're in the nesting box. Yeah, one of them. What if she just lays a fatty? I want farm fresh eggs again. I missed that. That was nice. Otherwise, we gotta return these chickens and get some actual like egg layers. I, say I just assumed the furry guys would lay eggs too, but I could be wrong. But anyways, these guys are big chilling. Everything's fed, taken care of. We need to go fill up the water. So I think the plan. We're gonna run a tractor supply. Hey, lose it. You settle down. Uh, we're gonna run a tractor supply and get some good wire, some staples, and all the materials that we're gonna need to rehab this enclosure and re remake it to where it is actually predator proof. Um, and then you guys are gonna have to let us know what you want us to put inside. So with that being said, we'll see you guys at tractor supply. Shoo! It's freaking windy out here, folks. Well, we made it to the store here. We're gonna run inside and see what kind of supplies they have to make our enclosure predator proof. Now, one th idea that we just kind of bounced around when we were driving the car is maybe potentially those four chickens that have done zero um, for us, they haven't laid eggs and they don't really understand how that coop works. Maybe we put them in there and see if they figure it out then. And then also that'll kind of test if this is actually predator proof because we'll have live animals in there and see if it works. I say we get that fat cock right there. That cock's that's bigger than me. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, we should get that guy. How much is it? I'm guessing 289. 199. Oh, that's a steal. That's a good deal. Yeah. Right? Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, go ahead and get it. Oh, snap. It's that time of year. These are so big suckers. Why are they so big? They're, look at all these guys. Oh, those might be turkeys. Yeah, they're getting bigger. Look at all these guys. They're just big chilling over here. Let's see. They are Cornish rocks. Really? It's a chicken, but that looks like a that looks like a turkey. I don't know about it. It looks like a turkey, but I mean, well, turkeys and chickens look pretty similar. So I don't know. We could get these guys. I don't really want them though. They're kind of a lot of work, and they just kind of smell, and then they end up dying anyway. So we got to bulletproof this enclosure first before we acquire any more animals. So where did our car go? We lose that thing. Here, here it is. So we need to go back to the wire section and see what kind of wire that they have that is like. I think we need something even smaller than. Like a four by four, because I, I have some four by four wire. I don't trust it. I feel like these raccoons will be able to go right through it. So we're gonna head to this back room here and see if they have anything that looks completely bulletproof. Oh yeah, there's their wire. Oh yeah, this is the stuff we found it right here. There's no way they could chew through that. I get the tallest stuff possible. Yeah, we will. How tall? Probably. Six. There's rolls down there. That's like it's gonna be a lot though. I think that's way too much. It was what maybe 24 by 16 was my guess for the whole or I don't remember how long it is. Probably should have measured before we came here to get material, but yeah, like these long ones. But how much is that? What yeah, it's $150. But I'm saying like how like how uh how long is it? Yeah, how many or you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Because that's what that would protect it from head to toe, pretty much, is a sucker. But does it say how long? A hundred. That's only a hundred feet. That's probably what you'd yeah. about. What you'd probably need. Because we thought it was what sixteen by thirty. Was it like sixteen by thirty? Thirty, sixty, ninety. That'd be about Seven. right. I mean, this is I your only other choice. Yeah, which is what a what's a four footer or a five? That's a five footer. That's five, five. foot. Because I mean, like, okay, do you also? think the do you think the raccoons could crawl up four feet and then chew through wire? I mean, I didn't. Think I wouldn't think so though. Because this would be so much easier to work with. Do you think they could climb up there? I don't think so, but I mean, I wouldn't think so, but I mean. Because like Trapper J has the same same setup as this, and he only has like a four foot cattle panel, which is what this is, and the rest of it's just straight up chicken wire, and he hasn't had any problem. It's not even the price that gets me; it's that that thing's gonna be heavy Annoying. and really hard to work with. That you actually can like manhandle, or you cut the difference and get a five, and you have like a foot on the top, basically. I don't know. I mean, this how heavy is it? this thing's got to be freaking? It ain't light, dude. It's pretty heavy. That's gonna suck wheeling that around, huh? 
<laughs> now you do it. <laughs> I don't know if we can do if we can manhandle that thing. Shoo! We decided we're going with the six footer. Okay, we contemplated back and forth. It's like if you're gonna do it right, if you're gonna do it one, what's the saying? I keep messing this up. If you're gonna do it, do it right the first time. I don't know what the saying well, is, this but is the second time, so, so, so the, 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 everyone gets second chance. Yeah, yeah. Three so, strikes, you're out. yeah, three strikes you're out. So if we miss this one, then we're toast. Uh, so we got, we're just, we're going for it. It's a big beefcake, but we figured maybe we can just roll it out on the ground and then cut it. Um, it's look at the spring. Oh, you'd smash on that. What? So we're getting the old six footer. That way, it is completely concealed in its entirety, and you guys can't complain and be like, well, you half-assed it, like you do everything else, Flair, and you left two feet of chicken wire, and then the raccoons broke in, dumbass. Okay, I don't want to hear it. We were getting the six footer. Okay, 150 dollars later, we're getting it. We're gonna get some staples for it and some other materials and whatnot but hopefully this thing i mean there's no way raccoons can get through it so the idea is just wrap this whole thing and make it freaking bulletproof Shoo! we made it outside it. there you go we got it put that e-brake on son oh i probably need to i probably need to open the top we ended up getting a couple other things we got a scarecrow owl looking thing as well which is supposed to that's what that is come on beefcake let's see it Oh, what is the same? We got one of these guys. He does say scarecrow on it. Yeah, that's what he it's is. It's an owl. Yeah, but he's a scarecrow. That's what he does. And we got some uh, some tools and stuff like that. So, anyways, we're going to head home now. It's freaking windy out here. Let's see if we can get the sucker built. Shoo! We made it back to the house, ladies and gentlemen. Look, the chickens, see, they didn't figure it out. We got two down and two up. They don't they don't understand how a coop works. So I think we will move them over uh, to one of these sides once we get this thing situated. And so they'll, unfortunate for them if it doesn't work, but they'll kind of be our test dummies to see how predator proof this sucker is. So first thing we've got to do is remove this cattle panel. We don't need this here anymore. We're actually going to take it and we're going to throw it on the roof to add some extra protection just in case these raccoons want to sky dive from above okay like mission freaking impossible um and then same thing here these state these uh staples right here we're gonna have to pull these out and we're gonna have to take this bale and probably try to manhandle that i'm not sure how that's gonna go um and then to take the panel from the back put the posts in the middle and then again take these panels lay them on top we got some zip ties to kind of zip tie them and then we have all of the materials that we just bought jerry how them nuts doing buddy right on brother and we're gonna take that fencing material measure how much we need roll it out cut it grab it put it up staple it we've got all the, the fixings to do that so with that being said i think let's start with the posts you like that idea let's shove a post in there and see what it looks like and just huge oh god this is straight i don't know yeah pretty close so six you're good. we'll say 74 Jeez, it's, it's like 74 six, inches six yeah six foot two or six foot three dang i was pretty close yeah, what'd six you say four. six four yeah, yeah. we could probably and what are those eight right now oh, six foot yeah. two is what you're thinking yeah okay all right well let's get to cutting <laughs> What was that? What? That's what I'm saying. Good? Yep. Oh, hey, that's, that's what I'm, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Look at that. Well, we should have so done that from better. the start. Yeah, I know. Well, we just didn't want to deal. Like, I just wanted it to be nice and open, but then it started giving it the old lean. But hey, Third, you know yeah. what we could do if we got uh, pigeons? You could put their little nesting box on that. Oh. So then they could just, I like, thought you were saying like a perch hanging could, off it. Or that. You could run. You could run it just that way. You could way. run perches yeah. from side to side. Just that side. So this side is open. Yeah. Just do it one half. So he, what you could do is take a, like a little piece of wood, screw it in, screw it in, and then just lay another piece of wood and then screw it. That, like oh. a little ledge, and then they would have like little branches to hang on or something like that. Yeah. If we got pigeons, we're not sure if that's what we're gonna. We're gonna put chickens in here first, but all right. Well, we got one down. Let's go ahead and just get the other one set up. Okay. How do you like that? Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty straight. Pretty straight. You could just move the we're top little... over. What about that? Yeah, that's good. Oh man, it looks kind of. Now you can like walk on. without thinking you're about to just get clotheslined. Look at this. This is nice. I like this. All right, well, now that this is taken care of, this side's good. It's got plenty of, has normal chicken wire and it's got the cattle panel, so we're not really worried about that. The other side, we've got to throw more cattle panel up and get everything on the side. So let's go ahead and get the cattle panel off, move the hay bale, and then get the wire ready to go. What's that? What's that? What's that? Who's that? Woo! 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 We put the coyote decoy out to see if it would scare him. Lucy's kind of tweaking. Look at Lucy. Lucy, get him. Lucy, get him. You get him. Yo, 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 go get him. Go get him. I think we need to, we need to like perch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we need to perch that up. That's, that's to scare off the raccoons. It didn't really do its job last time, but. <laughs> Lucy. Don't like it. Lucy's scared. Lucy, you're supposed to be a guard dog. 
<laughs> all right, now, now let's get to taking the fence panels off. Shoo! All righty, folks, so we got the panels taken off um, and put up top. So now up top has like three layers of cattle panel to where if the raccoon climbs up and can somehow find a way to rappel down like a freaking ninja, there's not much else we can do at this point. Uh, I mean, as far as the roof, that's the most secure roof. I think normally they kind of come in from here. I don't think they're smart enough to crawl up and then, I mean, that's a that's a six foot drop for them just to boom. And then to get back up, they're gonna have to crawl up and then like literally monkey bar their way and then pull themselves out. I have a hard time believing they're gonna be able to do that. And if they do, well, we'll just start setting traps and freaking KO their ass. But for now, next up, we've gotta grab the giant roll of fencing, measure this out, and we're gonna lay it out on the road and then cut it and then come up, put it up there and then staple it. We've got a bunch of little, it's gonna take forever. We got a bunch of little hand staples um, that we're going to uh, to use to really secure this fence on there. And uh, I think this thing is gonna be pretty darn solid. I, I, I've got a good feeling about it and we, we should take some dog proofs and just set them around this which is what we've done in the past and just just for some extra precaution that way if the raccoons do come to investigate the chickens we might trap them before they jump in do a little bit more predator control so with that being said let's get the fence out One side done. That took, uh, how long did that take? Well, actually, this won't even tell us, will it? No, it doesn't tell you how long it's been. Really? Not no. even the front? No, I think so, no. Yeah, minute and 52 seconds. Yeah, I think time. it took a little, maybe an hour and 52 <laughs> minutes. That took forever. These hand stapling, tell you what, folks, a little bit of a doozy. We ended up buying two different sizes, and honestly, both of them suck because this, the long ones are so damn thick, they don't go in, and these skinny ones go in great, but they're only three quarter inch long. Millie, no, no, Millie, no. And it makes it really hard to uh, hold and hammer at the same time, like they're not long enough. It took 56 we, minutes. An hour. Yeah. Yeah. Literally an hour. It took an hour to do one side. Yeah. But I mean, look, you ain't getting in this son of a gun. There's no way. Go right in it. <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah. no. This is as secure as it's gonna freaking get, folks. This was one of the harder sides. This side and the other side's gonna be the hardest because there's like, basically that board just wiggles. You see a band just hitting it, it just wiggles so it absorbs the, the hammer power. I'm sure they make tools to make do this automatic, but you know, figured we could do some manual labor today. So, that being said, let's do the back. The back, the back will make us feel like we accomplished a lot in life. So, we're doing the back. folks only took it lucy you are soaking wet why do you keep jumping in the pond over there we finally got it wrapped i mean if this thing if we get chickens daddy i don't know what to tell you folks i mean this thing it looks like a jail cell look at this it is literally completely screened in bulletproof i mean like there it's double layered now it's not even just single layer they have to chew through this somehow and then get through the chicken wire we've got it bolted on right here right here we zipped it off so we can swing both of these doors open you just pick up like that and Boom. So I think we're like, so we're going to take the four chickens that don't understand how that coop works. And I think we're going to stick them on this side to start because they do have that little house. And I think that's going to offer a little more protection than this. Predators at night are going to be able to see them. But if they're tucked in there, the predators won't even see them in there. Um, and if they want to perch, they can basically jump up there and perch. So we'll bring their feeder, their water in here, and at least just keep them in here temporarily. And then we're not sure about this side. If we want to eventually open all this, we're just going to have to pull all these staples out and then have it to where they can come and go or we can divide it like again let us know what you think i mean we think pigeons would be kind of cool we've never had them i don't really want to get quail again i mean all right but pheasants would be kind of cool as well but this isn't a ton of space if you, this was all for pheasants you could probably raise quite a few but we're thinking pigeons maybe peacocks we got chickens in here and we'll see we'll see what the chickens do i don't know i mean we could always move a coop like a build a small coop in there but for now this is just going to be the test run let's just see if this thing will stand up against the raccoons and the chickens i think are going to enjoy having a little bit bigger area Right now they're all cooped up. You get it cooped up. They're 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 in that coop. We'll put them in here. Give them some space. With that being said, let's go wrangle some chickens. I'm gonna choke these chickens. Hey, you, hey, you want me to take that one too? 
You got him? Yeah, it was double fisting. <laughs> Don't you drop him now. He pecks your titty, you can't drop him. I won't drop him, I'm going. Well, let's see if this is Millie and Lucy proof. We put them in the other cage here, just to keep them <laughs> chilling. Hey, no, oh, no, what did I, no, 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 get in the middle. <laughs> There you go. There's your new home. Hey, I kind of like this one. You like that? You make a friend. This one's my friend now. He's big chilling. That's the new Hennifer? They're so much softer yeah. than normal chicken. Yeah, they're 2.0. Really? Fluffy they're Hennifer. super soft. They're called silkies. They're silky smooth. Silky. We got the feeder. We'll sit that there and let's go get their water. The other scratch thing that's them. nice is when we can get, yeah, scratch and you just throw it down yeah. and then they can just they can just scratch around. See, they're way happier in here. This is good. But I, I feel like, like we need like 10 more now. Really? Oh, God, yeah. It's like 15 oh, tickets. So in far, here. Lucy hasn't been able to figure out how to get in. So that's good. I mean, this is probably like $2,000. I mean, these panels alone are like 40 bucks each. Rip. Yeah. So, all right, let's go get their water. Oh, yeah. Just hang it there. And then we come in, just fill it up. Yeah. Hey, you big chill. Yeah, they don't really like, run from you. Look at them. They love it in here. This is great. Ryan. Ryan, come here, Ryan. Lucy? You you can't get them, Lucy. No, 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 no. That's piercing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurts you. It hurts your ears, yeah. Well, chickens are chilling. We got food. We got water. This is the test. Are these guys going to get KO'd? Let us know what you guys think. I mean, like I said, this is pretty bulletproof, but I mean. I like these chickens a lot more now that they're on the coop. Like, they're just. Lame. I know. They're Yeah, they're way more cool in here. Yeah. We can get way Dude, more of them. Feel how like, light this one is. Like, they. Compared to like Hennifer, yeah, it's true. nothing. Look at that furry feet. You see that furry feet? It's just all fur. He's chilling. You fly? Not really. He hit he the dry, ground he hard as hell. I felt that when he hit the yeah. ground. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was not super exciting, but it was something that we needed to get done. A lot of you guys were asking us to fix this anyways to get new animals. So let us know what you want us to put in the other side or take out the biter and what animals you want to see us add next. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.